What's up? What's up? This is your man, TC. This is Mr. Motivator. This is Dr. Tommy Campbell Jr. I just want to wish you a happy Friday morning. I'm up this early Friday morning. I just want you to know that you are destined for greatness. This is your time. This is your season. This is your moment. And I speak over your life. I speak prosperity over your life. I speak wealth over your life. I speak good health over your life. I speak blessings over your life. I speak that this is going to be the year in 2020 that you're going to accomplish your dreams. You're going to accomplish your goals. This is what I want you to do. I want you to believe in yourself. Yes, I know you may say, well, uh, Dr. Campbell, it's hard for me to believe in myself. Look at what I've been through. Look at what I'm going through. Look at how I'm depressed. Look at how I'm grieving over the, over the loved one I lost. Look at what I'm going through. Well, when you hear my story, you're going to realize that you can accomplish anything after you hear my story. And before I go any further, I want to thank you. I am literally getting messages from people all over the world that are saying that my motivational videos are changing their lives. Their marriages are being restored. People are starting their businesses. People are going after their dreams. People are going, coming out of depression. All for watching my motivational videos. And I'm getting messages. I want to thank you, everybody, from all the messages that I'm getting from people all over the world. You guys are telling me that my motivational videos are changing your lives. And that's what it's about. I am a motivational speaker. I want to empower you. I want to see you accomplish your dreams. I want to see you become successful. I want to see you live an abundant and blessed life. I want to see you get everything that you were supposed to get in life. I want to see your dreams become a reality. I really love you. And as a motivational speaker, I really care about you. Maybe you've been wanting to write a book. Look. I am a published author. I've been telling myself for the longest that I wanted to write a book. And now I'm a published author. My book is on Amazon. Go to Amazon and type in Dream Big and then type in Dr. Tommy Campbell Jr. And my website is www.drtommycampbelljr.com. And my book is on my website. So look at the bottom of this video and uh, click on my website. And if you want to book me to speak, my email address, or you can go to my website. See, this is about achieving your dreams. I can't believe I am a published author. Maybe you've been telling yourself for the longest that you want to write a book. Maybe you've been telling yourself for the longest that you want to accomplish your dreams. Listen, I want 2020 to be the year for you. I want 2020 to be the year that you accomplish your dreams. I want 2020 to be the year that you come off of your nine to five job. I want 2020 to be the year that you figure out what your purpose is, figure out what you're supposed to do. I want 2020 to be the year that you change your mindset, that you renew your mind, and that you start thinking positive and stop thinking negative and get around and stop being around negativity and go after your dreams. And today I want to get right into the message. Today I want to talk about creating greatness. I want you to create greatness. I want 2020 to be the year that you create greatness in your life. When you are relentless, success only increases the pressure to do more. When you are relentless, watch this, success only increases the pressure to do more. Because when you become great and when you become successful, it creates pressure. It puts you in a position to have to do more, to push your limits, to come out of your comfort zone, to do something in your family that you've never done, that no one in your family has ever done, to create, leave a legacy, to become a legend, to create generational wealth, 
for your children and your grandchildren. This is my story. I flunked the first grade. I grew up with a learning disability all throughout elementary school, middle school, and high school. I was bullied in school. I was picked on. I, I made bad grades. I had a reading and comprehension problem. When I got into high school, I made C's and D's. And my high school teacher told me, she said, Tommy, you will not graduate from high school. She said, you're not smart enough to go to college. I looked at that teacher. I said, ma'am, you will not put limitations on me. I said, I will graduate high school. I said, I will go to college. And then in 2009, I became homeless, living on the streets, going without showers. And I had to beg for food. And then right after that, I was shot multiple times. I was shot in the back of my head, I was shot in my stomach, and I was shot in my groin area. And when I got to the hospital, I was pronounced dead. It seemed like my life was over. And then when they resuscitated me, they brought me in for emergency surgery. I was on life support for seven days. And now I'm a motivational speaker and I'm changing people's lives and I have a doctoral degree. And I remember when I was working on my master's degree, my teacher told me, she said, I don't think you're going to pass this class. I said, I'm going to stay in the class regardless if I fail or not. So I ended up failing the class. She told me I was a, wasn't a good writer. She said I wouldn't graduate with my master's degree. And I proved her wrong. And I ended up not only getting my master's, but I went on to get my doctoral degree, graduating in academic excellence. And now I'm a published author. She told me I couldn't write well, but I ended up years later. Now I'm a published author of the book Dream Big. You are destined for greatness. See, no matter what you're going through, you may be made, you, right now, your life may be so messed up. You may say, there's no hope for me because my life is so messed up. You may say, well, I'm an athlete and I experienced a bad injury. My career is over with. No, it's not over until it's over. You keep grinding. Maybe you wanted to start a business. Maybe you flunked out of college. Maybe you flunked out of medical school. Maybe you want to go to med school. Maybe you want to be a lawyer. Maybe you want to be a singer. Maybe you want to be an actor or a rapper or a professional athlete or a college athlete. You want to be a singer. You want to be a movie producer. You want to be an architecture. You want to be an engineer. My point is this. Whatever you want to be, you can become it. You can create greatness. Watch this. You can create greatness out of your bad past. You can create greatness out of your failures. You can create greatness out of your mistakes. You can create greatness out of your unforgiveness. And you can learn to forgive. You can create greatness out of you not forgiving yourself and forgive yourself. You can create greatness out of your grief. You can create greatness out of your depression. You can create greatness out of your grief. You can create greatness out of your bad marriage. Maybe you never knew who your father was. Maybe you grew up in a single mother home. Maybe you grew up in a dysfunctional family. Maybe you're in a family where your family telling you not to go after your dreams. They're putting you down. They said you can't believe, you can't achieve it. They're telling you just go ahead and work a nine to five job for the rest of your life and retire. No, that's not your destiny. You are about to create greatness. And that's what I did. I had people to put me down. I had people to not believe in me. But I created my own greatness. And now I'm a motivational speaker. And people may not agree with me, what I'm doing. But I'm not going to let what people think about me uh, hinder me for what I'm doing. Because this is my passion. This is my heart. And people's lives are changing because of my motivational speaking. And I will be speaking at UNC Charlotte. I will be at the University at Charlotte on this Friday. And I am excited. When you achieve one goal, watch this. When you achieve one goal, your focus on your next challenge, watch this, because you want to go even higher to max out. I'm going to say that again. When you achieve a, one goal, you're focused on your next challenge because you want to go even higher to max out. What do you mean? The more you accomplish, the more you need to accomplish.
Because greatness does not stop once you reach success. But greatness causes you to come out of your comfort zone and causes you to max out and go even higher. So as you're achieving one goal, while you're working on becoming great, while you're working on becoming successful, you want to develop character and integrity while you're on the journey of becoming successful. Because so many athletes, they become, they become athletes, but they get in trouble with the law all because they lack character and integrity and they mess up their whole life and career all because they did not take character and integrity with them. So character and integrity is the main ingredient to creating greatness. Because you can't become great without having character and integrity. Because there are a lot of people that are successful. There are a lot of people that are great, but they lack character and integrity. Another thing is, you must make sure that you are healthy, emotionally and mentally because when you are healthy emotionally and mentally once you become great and successful you can enjoy your success because there are so many millionaires there are so many billionaires there are so many professional athletes that have a lot of issues and they're dealing with depression they're dealing with pain all because of what they're going through so they're successful, they're great, but they cannot enjoy it because they are not healthy emotionally and mentally. Next point, you got to stop being negative and you got to become positive. Maybe you're around, maybe you are around negativity. Maybe people in your family are negative. Maybe you're in relationships that are negative. Maybe you're in the wrong relationships. You need to surround yourself around people that will believe in your dreams. You got to surround yourself around people that will encourage you to create your own greatness and go to the next level. Because don't get crushed by success. Don't get crushed by success. What do you mean, Dr. Campbell? What I mean is don't stop or become complacent after you become successful. Because so many people stop and so many people become complacent after they become successful. Michael Jordan, he did not become complacent. He won six championships. He wanted to become great. He wanted to be the greatest basketball player of all time. So when he won one championship, he did not become complacent. He won six championships. So everything that he did in practice, when it came to the game, it was easy to Michael Jordan because of the way that he performed in practice. Kobe Bryant, the reason why he was so great in the game and during the fourth quarter, because of how he performed in practice. If you're going to win the championship, if you're going to start that business, if you're going to get back into college, if you're going to go to college, get that scholarship, become a doctor or a lawyer, a real estate owner, an engineer, a rapper or a singer, or start your business, you are going to have to create your own greatness. And then you're going to have to grind. And after you grind, you're going to have to put in 120%. So don't spend your time talking about what you're going to do. That's what so many people do. They just talk about what they want to do. They just talk about what they want to accomplish. They spend more time talking than they spend more time working. It's time to start to stop talking. Just say what you want to do once and then get to work. Grind. Put in 120%. Because I always say this. I always say this. There are thousands and millions of people that want to do the same thing you want to do. So how are you going to become, be, how are you going to become greater than them? You're going to have to create greatness. You're going to have to put in long hours. You're going to have to outwork them. You're going to have to out-hustle them. The person that's going to win the NBA championship is the person that outworks them. The person that's going to win the Super Bowl is the team that outworks them. The person that's going to win the World Cup, the World Series, the French Open, the Masters. 
the person that's going to win the National Hockey Championship, the person that's going to win the Olympic gold medal, the person that's going to start that business, the person that's going to start a multi-million dollar, billion dollar company, the person that's going to find the cure to cancer, the person that's going to be the next greatest scientist, the person that's going to be the next greatest engineer, the person that's going to be the greatest pilot, the person that's going to be the greatest at their craft is the person that is going to create their own greatness. You have to create your own greatness. So I'm about to tell you how to create your own greatness. I'm going slow for a reason. In order to create your own greatness, you're going to have to use your pain. You're going to have to use your mistakes. You're going to have to use your failures. And you're going to have to develop a mind of greatness. You're going to have to stop thinking negative and get a mindset that I can accomplish anything. Get a mindset that regardless of what family, I may have grew up in a poor family. I may have grew up uh, in a dysfunctional home. I may have never knew who my father was. You may Parents may have gotten divorced. You may be going through divorce. You may be in a bad relationship. You may be struggling with grief and depression. You may be going through trouble. You may have low energy. You may be dealing with a lot of pain. But you got to say, in the midst of everything that I'm going through, I'm going to create my own greatness. I'm going to become greater at my craft than the other person that wants to do the same thing that I'm doing. See, what I just told you is worth millions of dollars. Now, if you take this and apply this video, I can stop right there. But if you take this video and apply it to your life, you're going to become great and successful. But you got to do it over and over and over again. Putting in 120%, having the mindset that I'm going to push past everything that I'm going through. I flunked the first grade. I grew up with a learning disability. I barely graduated high school. I became homeless and lived on the streets and begged for food. I was shot multiple times. And now I'm a motivational speaker. I took all my pain. I took all my mistakes. I flunked out of college. And then I was put on academic probation. I didn't let that stop me. I could have just not tried to get back into college. But I was on academic probation. And now I'm Dr. Tommy Campbell Jr. Create your own greatness. Don't get lazy. As I close, don't get lazy or stop grinding after you become successful. That's an important one right there. That's an important message right there. That is a very important statement. Don't get lazy or stop grinding. Don't stop putting in 120% after you become successful. When you become successful, that's when you got to keep grinding. You got to keep hustling because you got to go higher and higher and higher. You want to max out until there's nothing left. As I close, Anthony Licione says, well done is well said. In order for there to be a well done, you got to say it first. And after you speak it, you got to go and do what you said you was going to do. Let your word speak for itself. Like my word, people's lives, because of my motivational videos, people's lives all over the world are changing. People are buying my book. This book will change your life. I am a published author. Maybe you've been telling yourself you want to write a book. You may not be a good writer. Go ahead and write the book. You can still become an author. You can still start that business. Maybe you tried to start a business and it failed. Maybe you had a business partner and they cheated you. Try again. Don't let your mistakes, don't let your failures, don't let your depression, don't let your grief, don't let your past stop you from creating your own greatness. I want to tell the whole world that I love you. I want to tell all my Facebook fans, all my Facebook people, everybody that I'm friends with on Facebook, I want to tell you I love you, I believe in you, and I know you can do it. Let 2020 be the year that you create your own greatness. This is to all my Facebook friends. I love you. This is to all my YouTube viewers. If you're watching this on YouTube, I love you. I care about you. I believe in you. And I want to see you successful. I want to see you go to the next level. Create your own greatness. 
max out. Go after your dreams until there's nothing left in the tank. Come out of your comfort zone. You pain. You, you may be going through pain right now. Look at my pain. You know my story now. Look at what I went through. Barely graduated high school. I made C's and D's all the way in high school. It was a miracle that I got in college. I flunked out of college and they didn't want to let me back in college. But I kept begging them. I would not give up. I would not stop. I was persistent. I was relentless. And they let me back in college on academic probation. It didn't seem like I was going to get my master's. I failed classes. My, 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 my graduate teacher, my graduate professor told me I wasn't, wasn't a good writer. Told me I wasn't a grad student. But I did not let her words or her negativity stop me from creating my own greatness. Don't, you may have family members. You may have in-laws or family members that don't believe in your dreams. You may have people in your family that have put you down. They said you couldn't accomplish it. Don't you settle for that nine to five for the rest of your life. Create something. Create your own greatness. And find something that you love to where you will have, to where you will own your own time. You will live a good life, a great life, and a blessed life. You're not average. Stop being average. Average people are not going to get anywhere in life. I want you to become phenomenal. You're not average. Stop being average. Stop having an average life mentality. Don't settle for less. Settle for nothing but the best. You are phenomenal. You are greatness is upon your life. Great things are in store for you. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you want to bull me to speak, you can email my email on my website. It's at the bottom of this video. And my book is on Amazon and on my website. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And please spread the word. Share my videos all over social media. I want to tell the whole world to create your own greatness. Go after your dreams. Find out your purpose. You are phenomenal. Don't be average, but be phenomenal. Develop a phenomenal life mentality. Stop being negative and become positive. Renew your mind. Change your way of thinking. As a person thinks, as he or she thinks in their heart, so is he or she. So change your way of thinking. I love you and I believe in you. Thank you. That is my time.